You're listening to Off The Stage with your hosts, James Berry and Connor Michael, where we take musicians off the stage and into the pub to talk about the ins and outs of the music world. Hello again, and welcome back to Off The Stage with me, James Berry and Connor Michael. We're here back in the Isis pub. We've got a few beers. And we're going to talk about our subsequent music careers. I try to make it land. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that sausage roll. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, to be honest, never mind. So, what is your beer? What you went for? Um, so this is, I can't remember exactly what it's called, it's called a lemon power, it's like a lemony drink. I saw it advertised <laughs> on, on the ISIS Facebook page, and I thought, well that looks refreshing. Yeah. I, I, I did look at it on the actual heat wave last week, so I was thinking I need something like that, so I thought I'd give yeah. it a go, and it's very nice actually. It's, um, I haven't tried it yet, but I've got it right there. It's not called Lemon Power. I think I made that up. It's Lemon Something. It's Swimming Lemon. Yeah, yeah it's made up the Lemon power. Something. You'll have to go on the ISIS Facebook page Yeah. to figure out what it is, but it's quite nice. But we're not alone, ladies and gents. We have our uh, eighth, eighth guest, technically, because we had one yeah. without them. We had two for humor. Something like that. Yeah, round about our eighth guest. Put your hands together. We have Kerry Souls. <laughs> See, it does the hands together thing. It's That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Souls right here. Yeah. Fun. Souls, right? Souls, yeah. Souls. Souls. Yes. Ah, I even yes. ask. always get the name wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you drinking, Caddy? Old Malt Cider, pineapple and raspberry. Wow. Oh, it's very nice. Cool. That's a- pretty cool. Any more reviews, and we might have to get sponsored by them. <laughs> 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 but yeah, thank you for coming on on the podcast. No problem. Um, we were meant to have you on last week, and then England became Turkey. <laughs> fried yeah. metros went yeah we're not going to work because it's too hot for transport and then yeah we actually haven't been here in two weeks well Pretty haven't weird. yeah oh, it's been quite a nice nice little uh, break hasn't it no I missed it actually I did actually yeah, miss it I'm, 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 to, I'm going to be good <laughs> and I will that's why we're doing we'll be doing recording two episodes today, yes. on this, so. if there's any visuals I am not a giant I have a half pint <laughs> reason before it is instead of saying oh we'll have two pints for the pod we're going to have to have four because we have to have two and then we have to have two later yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking technically I can still drive sensibly with four half pints. That's yes. the last right. D- don't drink yeah. and drive, kids. No, no, no. <laughs> but if you do, <laughs> half pints don't count. <laughs> God. Right, Keddy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I play guitar. Oh, brilliant. Cool. That's I was going to guess. I do a bit of singing. Um, Snap. Anything else? <laughs> yes, go on. Loop pedal. Oh, loop pedal, Snap. every now and then, every now and then. Um, but I just try and, I try and make money doing music full time um, and try and get with as many agencies as possible, pretty much. Uh, I was working at McDonald's, um, but it was a bit depressing. I worked there for about a year and a bit, um, but I just, I felt like I was wasting my life there a bit, so no. um, that's why I'm doing music full time. Oh, you do full time now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good, especially, you say you're 18? 18, 18 aye. Bloody hell. I'm, I'm 34 and I'm still waiting to take the final leap. <laughs> I think you can, though. You know I you can. I, I probably can. Jumper. Yeah, I know, it is. I, it's, it's terrifying. Because like. my thing when I did it, I was like, I still live at home. I don't have a lot to pay. If I can do it now, it's better than being like 45 with a mortgage going, yeah, what if I try now? And it's, it's easier when you're younger. Yeah. yeah. Although it's more difficult to get the gigs when you're younger because a lot of bars go for people they've already had. And it's one of them like, oh, well, yeah, you can get a job here, but you need experience. Like, how do I get experience? Well, you get the job there. But how do I get the job there without it? And it's that kind of thing. Uh, same thing with gigs. Mm. You'll find yourself playing a lot of the same gigs over and over again because like, yeah, you were good, we'll have you back. But a lot of them are like, oh, we haven't seen you before, so we're cutting as well. You won't see you until you give them a chance. And yeah. that's, that's half the battle when you're starting out. When I started out, I just went to like every pub in Gateshead and Newcastle, yeah. like asking for like um, like open mic nights. Yes. And I was just trying it's to do as good, many yeah. as them as so possible. We, we were literally talking about the last, last episode, mm-hmm. like the never underestimate the power of like a good busker's night yeah. just yeah. to get you started. Honest to God. Like I, I was there for an entire year and then it started going, right, do you want a couple of gigs? Uh, yeah. It right. works well. Yeah. But anyway, so last week we obviously prepped the episode. This is the, it was the first time I prepared an episode on time. Yeah, and then... Every did. episode I've done, never prepared it until like three minutes before. Hence why mm. I'm telling you today, we haven't even prepped the next episode. <laughs> I'm slowly <laughs> doing it as we speak. <laughs> um, I actually have last week's episode, and then it wasn't allowed to happen. So we're going to go through list by list. 
Uh, we put an Instagram poll up and we were like, this is Keddy, he's gonna come on the show, what would you like to ask? One of the questions we got is, what is your favorite cheesy song? I don't know if that means to listen to or to play, so I'm gonna ask both. What's your favorite cheesy song to listen to and your favorite cheesy song to play? Um. Oh, mate, I haven't thought this through, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we, we, neither do we, it's all right. <laughs> Favourite cheesy song, um... It's, it's pressure, because I'll you tell you what I was listening to last night, first time in years. Go on, then. Crazy Frog. Ah, oh, <laughs> I hate <laughs> Limbin' Crazy Frog. That's a good one. <laughs> Honest to God. God. it was like, we were trying to guess, I think it was 2003 it came out. Or 2005, sorry. I when that song came out. Just everyone that song them. came out. Because it was like it was back in the day when like phones you couldn't just download a phone you had to buy it and everyone bought the flipping mm-hmm. crazy frog flipping bing, everyone had bing. his ringtone. Uh, <laughs> I had the yeah. video game. It was like video a game. Race I, thing. I didn't realise that. <laughs> Honest to God, it was on like the PlayStation Two. It was like you know like the Sonic races and stuff. It was a crazy oh, frog races and it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a better game than it was a song. I imagine it, you know well, it's, it was like it's a racing, Kart, you yeah. stuff at people and it was it was just a racing game but was there any other characters other than the frog because I, I don't uh, remember there was like the, the you know the the video there's the bad guy the one the red chasing him mm. um, nice. and there was a few others but uh, I was years ago I can't remember uh, fully I was going to say because was, there wasn't much like law <laughs> no <laughs> it was just a stupid <laughs> frog who went bing bing <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so we had that on yesterday um, although on Friday it was the first time I played five, six, seven, eight by Steps. Oh, Rooster, yeah. baby, you drive. Yeah. Oh, that song. That's it. That was always on at the school disco back oh, in the day. Right, right. So that's, that's in there. It's my, sure, my, my cheesy song I love to play is uh, James Blunt, You're Beautiful. It's great. Oh, that's great cool. banger. That's a tune. Mm. I'm trying to think still, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm stalling while you do. This is James's turn. <laughs> I, tell, I, I tell you, um, my favourite cheesy, I don't know what my favourite cheesy song is. I know um, one I do like to play, um, especially in a place like Filthy's, when you're looking like that. I don't even know if it's Banger. a cheesy song. Yes. No, it's, you're it's, right, it, it is. It's a bit of a cheesy song, but it's, it's the key change. Yes. How am I supposed to leave you now? <laughs> when yeah. you're looking like that. Oh, yeah, that was crazy, yeah. Love Life is a Roller Coaster. It's a good one. Life is a Roller Coaster. I'm sure we've coaster. done that one before. Ah, uh, probably, I. Uh, do those yeah. cheesy ones. Just know, uh, old Cecilia, like the one that the vamps covered. Yes. Oh, Sam and Garfunkel. Yeah, well, I, that, that was... is the age difference in you two. Yeah, yeah. The one the vamps covered and you're yeah. straight in with Sam and yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. That's right. one of my cheesiest songs to well, listen I, to on play. Oh, nice. man. We, we, I used to be in a uh, Simon and Garfunkel tribute act, and that was our main song. Who were you? <laughs> I was Paul Simon. Nice. That was the smaller one. The other one was... Uh, <laughs> He was called Lawrence. He had like floppy hair. So I think like, I know. do I know Lawrence? I don't think you do actually. No. I didn't get him on the show once. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, Simon and Garfunkel tribute. Cecilia was like the, the our our hit song. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't cheesy back then, you know. It's, uh, Is it like <laughs> yeah. slowed down the original? No, no. It's um, it was one of the first songs. It, funny enough, you were talking about loop pedals. It was one of the first songs that was looped. Yeah. So what? But looping back in the day, what they used to have to do was just like physically cut the thingy out and like pierce it out but they just did the this, the drum beat was like that's all they did with the yeah things and then just like they just built it up from there dead clever they cheat that in it that was one of the loop one of the first not even real music one of, it was one of the fir- <laughs> that was one of the first first loot songs I guess it was 69 well I wasn't born then it's a bit old now though as I okay but, James yeah <laughs> <laughs> show me age yeah <laughs> Oh, Cecilia, God, that brings up. So I'm just bringing back memories there. Cecilia, I used to play that all the time. Yeah. To the point where I got sick of it, and I hadn't. I've, you know what? I haven't heard that song in ages. I'm gonna put that in the car, on in the car on the way back home. I think. I've been vibing to Delamitri roll to me recently. I don't know where that came from. It's always on my Alexa now. Delamitri, what's that one go like again? I look around the world, pretty boy. Ah, oh, yeah. That was man's of a Family Guy. Really? There was a, there was a sketch with um, who's she called? It's got like a face like an anteater. <laughs> I know who you mean. Yeah, I even know the scene you mean. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's an insult. There is a general clip where she looks like an anteater because they're trying to take the piss. Oh, right. Um, it's, yeah, it's I a know who, yeah. is, is, is the, is, are these ants ruining our picnic? Or is these this picnics picnic ruining our ants? <laughs> oh, dear, good, come yes. on, little baby. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> oh, yes. Cool. So, we're at Instagrams. We had uh, two questions. One was, who's your influence and what encouraged you to be an artist 
So we're going to mix them together. And who is your influence? Who, who inspired you to be an artist in general? Who's your influence? It doesn't have to be the music world, could be. Um, from know. from a younger age, it was Ed Sheeran. Um, that's I mean, weird, that's a younger age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I grew up at the same age as Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I've had loads of people say Ed Sheeran as well. Yeah. I mean, it sort of boded well with me because I'm ginger and I love playing acoustic guitar that as makes well. Sense, doesn't it? Um, I got called Ked Sheeran a lot. Created. <laughs> which I wasn't complaining about because you know, could I do love a crack and tribute act there. Yeah, yeah, Ked definitely. Sheeran. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just I watched him like all the time on the TV and um, learned all his back catalogue. So yeah, he, he, he got was, me into it. I mean, Ed Sheeran was like, he, he, he basically broke the mould from. Um, like, because every, every single song on the charts was just X Factor. And he was the first one I remember that, like, just started bringing out guitar music again. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, this is quite a bit of a... He's, a he he brought busking into a professional career. Yeah. He's the only person that can busk on a stadium. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else is a band, and it's fair enough, but... I, it's the busks on a stadium basically I saw him over there Stadium of Light and yeah. he was mint like a whole stadium I mean he had a band with him but he like he created such a mad sound with those loop pedals it's yeah. weird I saw him too at Stadium of Light wasn't as good as when I saw him at St James's or what's now the Italy Arena but Mer- still good don't get me wrong I'll mm-hmm. not slate him um, the, it, I think one it was the band that put us off oh right because when I first seen Ed Sheeran live, I'd only listened to his albums and I got, he was all right. Then when I seen him live, it was the magic of, he just has a loop station and he's got an entire crowd go mental on yeah. the loop pedal. Um, and then I saw him again at the stadium, he's done it at a stadium level. And when he's got the band, the band's good, but it feels like they take that magic of-, of One guy, of acoustic the, guitar, yeah, and yeah. Comes, pedal. You've seen the Ed Sheeran band, you're not yeah. seeing the Ed Sheeran show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was still an all right show, really good show, but. I think the loop pedal is the thing that really sells Ed Sheeran. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's because it, it's clever, like the way it makes sounds and stuff as well. Isn't it? Like, yeah, you have to be so talented as well, like to get the timing perfect. You know, if he like messes it up live, uh, yeah. that's gonna be a bit of a gutter. Like, there's so many people watching. Yeah, he gets it a tiny bit off time. I've got that's a date. Best bit though. I, f- I think I saw a TikTok where he actually like got off time a uh, little bit. Shivers. Yeah, was that there when he was doing the keys? He pressed the pedal at the wrong point. Uh huh. Um, Stadium of light. I'm about 90% convinced he was out of time by a millisecond and bad habits. <laughs> oh, were you timing it like? <laughs> it's a curse of the music life. Whenever yeah. you go to a gig, we were, I went to see uh, Tori Amos with Scott Kears a few months ago. And uh, yeah. she was great, but we were there going, the sound engineer here is absolute shite. Yeah, yeah. Like, turn the reverb down. Do you change that? Do you, and like, we're going, I can hear the piano now, but she, you can't hear her vocals anymore. Then it would change mm. and go, right, turn the piano back up. And we, nah. we were sat there trying to where, shout to the sound engineer. Where was that at? Oh, Manchester. I don't know which room it was. Oh, right. It right. wasn't like a big arena. Now, usually the small ones, I, it's, I, I, always, I always get annoyed at that. Yeah, like you think but it was a, we, went, when we went to see the Ed Sheeran one. Uh, his vocals were sound. Everything was mint. But the last one before him, Maisie Peters, he couldn't make out what she was singing. It sounded like a fishbowl. I couldn't hear it too much, to be fair. Yeah, and I panicked. I was like, oh, this is what Ed's going to sound like. It's, it's the same sound engineer, yeah, I yeah. presume. <laughs> well, he saves. I'm sure they deliberately make the... Um, I mean, this is a conspiracy yeah. theory. Would make um, sense though. I'm sure. The, I'm sure they make the, um, deliberately make the support act sound terrible, just in case the support act turns out to be better than the actual. Yeah, it sort of plays the main act up as well. Yeah, that's uh, it. So, but uh, that's that's my my theory. Because yeah. everyone, I remember going to see um, Blackstone Cherry at the uh, was that the arena. No, no, it wasn't at the arena. It was at the academy. Um, and rival sons I only went with the wife really just quickly speaking yeah. of Ed Sheeran not that he's here but I'm going to go pick the Sheeran guitar up which is downstairs right go on then <laughs> that was a good interval bit yeah no that's absolutely yeah. I'll be two seconds yep you guys keep going I'm trying not to knock the mic over yeah <laughs> for those who don't know we're just uh, we're missing a guitar so uh, keep going. <laughs> my bad guys my so bad. He's, he's just quickly no it's all right um I'm sure you sent us a message, to be honest. I did. Yeah, you did. It's just that Your fault. fault. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault for not really. <laughs> I, did, no, I, I, I did think that. I was like, oh, surely Connor's always got a guitar. He's always got a guitar in his yeah. car. Because so I came straight from work. I didn't even I, I didn't even manage to go home. So I was like, oh, Connor, I'll have a guitar. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, Ashley's been nice enough to drive down and yeah, pass yeah, the guitar. So. From Shields as well. Yeah, yeah, from Shields. Uh-huh. But, uh, it's, uh, it's always cool. Hey, what were we talking about before then? Um, Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Um, musical influences as oh, well. Oh, yes, uh, yes. But we, um, I don't know whether we're wait. Sam no, Fender. Like, uh, uh, Sam Fender recently, I was going to say, like, yeah. since he's got big, he's really influenced me. So, yeah. Um, 
actually play the electric guitar now and uh, you know, I'll put a bit of chorus on like he oh, does. I tell you, I tell you what, I noticed in one of your pictures. I've got it as well. The um, the, the pod go. Yes, oh, mate, it's amazing. I, I, honestly, I, I used to just have the um, ME80, which is like the boss thing I had for like flipping 10 years or something. Then I finally upgraded. Yeah. And I got the pod go. I got the wireless version. Is that the power in that? I'm just like I'm not I'm not I'm not like a tech savvy guy. Yeah, yeah. But this is just um, it's just any any setting just flipping amazing. Mm -hmm. So what's the powerless version? Does it have like batteries in? I'm no, guessing. no. It's basically um, it, it just means you you don't need a um, a wire like oh. a, a lead. Why am I calling it a flipping wire? Uh, you don't need a lead. You just kind yeah, of yeah. it's got a little box and you just put a little receiver. All oh, right, man. So you can like jump up and down and be a bit more yeah, yeah, yeah. you know rock and roll yeah, knee yeah. slide and without worrying about like pulling the guitar uh, thing out well I've, uh, I've got strap locks really recently because um, like I'm, I'm trying to move around more and I've been watching like YouTube tips on how to perform uh, better, you know like uh, YouTube around, yeah everything man uh, point your guitar in different directions pretend it's a gun with like a laser on and if it stays there for too long you don't want it to like burn a hole so like try and move around more so that's yeah. what I got my strap locks for uh, otherwise it'll just come flying off you know yeah well it's, I've, I've seen um, the it's like a, a, a montage of people try and kind of like you know the, the, the move the oh, thing and then, flip the, around. and then the, the guitar goes <laughs> flying uh, <laughs> that's something I would do to be fair yes. I, I had a um, uh, <coughs> Uh, Hofner, you know the the violin guitar that yeah, uh, yeah. Paul McCartney has. Um, it was like a content we see. was like the six hundred quid guitar. I wasn't like the the top end model, but it wasn't the worst model. It was like the middle model. Yeah, yeah. And the first time I took it to practice, I just like stretched my arm out and it, and, fell. And it fell, and it snapped the neck just completely no came straight off. And I was like, oh, and then. Um, Vince the guitar, but it was just, I was just watching it just in absolute disbelief because I hadn't even played it live. That was the first practice I took it out. No. And I was so, you know, and I, back in the day, especially back in the day, I didn't have any, that was all my money that I had as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just like, it was a really awkward silence. And then Vince just went, so do you want to drive back home and get you with the bass guitar? I was like, yeah, not really. <laughs> I would have just broke down. Yeah. I was like, no, I want some super glue and duct tape. <laughs> yeah. And fix this. I did fix it eventually. Absolutely. Like it, it just luckily the the break was, was either the break was just kind of like um, what it didn't affect any frets, so it was just it was like a clean break kind of mm -hmm. thing. So it was just um, some luthier just pot glued it and looked better than you ever. Still now. play it? I, I still play it. Yeah. Never broken since. It hasn't actually. It's probably the guy said probably um, better now. Yeah, it's, it's actually stronger now than what it was before. <laughs> so it's like he broke it again on purpose to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> it just keeps oh, snapping. Man. It's just a yeah. But, uh, it's, um, no, I'm, I'm saying I want to get uh, guitar strap holders. Yes. So I'm saying I also want to get a wireless jack and a wireless mic so I can dance about on the stage and do like yeah, a proper yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So Mine. I feel like at the minute it's just an acoustic guitar, but if you can make it more, I feel like if, if the artist is more energetic, it makes the crowd more energetic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly. So we were just talking about that. We talked about the, the pod go, like line six uh, guitar, flex yeah. pedal. I've got like the wireless version. It's so much, honestly, without the, without the wire. Yeah. It's, Honestly, uh, my worry is if it died mid gig. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's the. Although the, the battery's on the mechanic, it, it actually it tells you what your battery is. So it's. It's my next investment. Yeah, definitely. Go. Definitely. Imagine us doing filthies next time. <laughs> when we do filth, we get a little energetic. We don't just like stand and play guitar. We're like thunderclaps. Yeah, right? yeah. Everybody jump together. Right? Yeah, yeah like, of course. It goes mental. But again, when we do that, the crowd do that. And it's. Whereas you can do a gig, it's the exact same songs, mm -hmm. but they're a bit like, okay, that's a cool song. Yeah, I've had gigs where like I've been like putting everything into it, you know, my heart, my soul, my energy, all of that, you know, dancing around. But a lot of the time, sounds bad. A lot of the time, uh, like it's not really reciprocated. Yes, and yeah. It, it makes you feel a bit dead, and yep. then you sort of get dead, and yep. it's it's just a bit tell, awkward. I tell you, if you really want to have that feeling, get a gig in a club, a working man's club. Uh -huh. So they just they just sit there. Oh mate, I did. I, w I went to Stockton the other week and I played it like uh, it's called the Sun Inn. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. It's um, it rings a bell. It's um, it's just like loads of sort of older men. Yeah. Um, and they, they were they were just sitting there, mm -hmm. arms crossed, moody as out, you know. I honestly, God, I've got some. It was the Grindon Club? I mean, not to try and like, I'm sure people in the Grindon Club aren't going to watch this podcast, but the <laughs> you never know. In case you are, this is. I think it's yeah. you guys. <laughs> But we used, to, we used to gig loads at the Grindon Club. It was like every it was like a Sunday at twelve o'clock. 
such a weird time, like, and people that just came with like the 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 um, that the takeaways had the night before. They used to they bring them in and just kind of like play dominoes and stuff. It was just a forty five minute set. That's all you did. Then you packed up and you went home. Mm-hmm. But we used to play it all the time. Uh, all the beat songs, you know, moving around, jumping up and down. Yeah. We were like, we, uh, was with my band Yellowstone. We were like. Um, it's like I call it like an indie punk band, but we played all like the fun, hard hitting, yeah, pop like punk upbeat, one yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, and either just just sit there, just the arms folded, forty five minutes, and then you used to play the the last song, and you used to stand up and go more, and I was like, well, where the hell was That's this? Always yeah, gets yeah. me, yeah. It's like where's this enthusiasm? You didn't want one more song three songs ago, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were just sitting yeah. down. Yes. With, and also, it was the, the gig dragged so much. Do you know what it is? I've not played that venue, but when you're telling that story, I've envisioned that at another gig that I've done, knowing exactly it's the same scenario. Uh, <laughs> like, that's how common it is. Well, these, they used to, I think, I'm sure, because um, they stopped it when we when we started playing, but after the band, they used to have the strippers come on. No, oh, <laughs> Is that why everyone stays? <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure. That's what the old men were there for. But I'm sure that's why they started cheering at the end when you finished. Because you were finished. <laughs> oh, bring on the strippers. strippers on. Got a twist, it was James's band with the strippers after. Although, they wanted more. Although this, this, this was the Grindon Club, so you know, you, you imagine this, what the strippers would have looked like. Where oh. is it? Is it Grindon? Where's Grindon? It's, um, it's in like the leafy suburbs of Sunderland. Oh. Well, leafy suburbs. It's it's in a somewhere in the northeast. Yeah, okay. it's it's in it's in Sunderland somewhere. <laughs> like to, no one actually knows uh, where it is. <laughs> I was going to try and send directions, but if you don't know Sunderland, well, you just be no, like, not really. Uh, Lucky no, well. I find it. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> mint. Um, we've got one more question on this first part. If you could have done any movie or TV show theme, which one would it have been? Um, probably Indiana Jones. Right. What would your theme have been? Do, 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 you would have done the do, same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I don't think I would have been able to think of that. As simple as they are. Yeah, because like it's, it's, it's an art form, and it just simple. Yeah. Get to the point, and it like matches. Mm. Like not just taking credit, but if you could make a theme up for one, I think Doctor Who would have been a cool one because that you could get really like cipher. You could chuck anything. Yeah, in that. yeah. yeah. Like loads of reverb or delay yeah. on the guitar. It's just the D chord. Dun, 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 right. dun, 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 I think it was E A E D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D It's pretty much that. But then it's all the extra sci-fi, like, ooh, yeah, that comes in on top of the theremonians, and I think that would have been a good one to have, to have uh, played around with in the studio. Have uh, you heard of a Channel 4 theme tune? One that goes, do, 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 do. It's like acoustic guitar. It's like G, D, and C. Yeah. Like, that, that person will be making, like, quite a lot every time that's and played. It's, yeah, and that's and just, it's so easy. It's like three every chords. every single yeah. song in the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Four chords, three, four yeah. chords. Uh, I don't know. Trying to think. Well, I'm sure this is how John Williams started his on a podcast, like writing his songs. You know, yeah, yeah. thinking, <laughs> okay, we need a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'd, I'd love to. Uh, I'm going to say Jurassic Park. I'd love to Ooh, write a score for Jurassic that'd Park because cool. mm. you can be a bit menacing, can't you? Yeah. Just like, yeah. Although that's. Oh, there's a siren. That's Jurassic Park. I'm wild. I know. <laughs> Dinosaurs are out. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Don't think the fish going to do much about dinosaur, to be fair. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think that it, it would be more fun in the studio. Like, it would be one of them, you'd have a rough idea in your head, right, I'm going to go, and then, you, like you say, you would play around with, mm. and you'd get quite bassy with Jurassic Park. Yeah. Like, thuds and boom, boom. Yeah, she's little like laws and stuff like that. You know, back and I'd, 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 hire, I'd hire like yeah, I'd, I'd hire some like screamo band, you know, just like <laughs> sure that would go down well. <laughs> then like the, the Jurassic, you know, the T Rex chase. Yes, you'd be like a proper kind of like upbeat. <laughs> change the kind of it would. It would probably sound a lot worse <laughs> if I did it, but yes. yeah, <laughs> be fun to make though. It would be hilarious oh. to make. I'd love it. Mint, cool. That was a good first part. Okay. Um, we'll take a little break. And I'll make sure I'm here for the entire of the next set yeah. because I dicked out for a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, see you guys in part two. Charles. See you in a bit. See you. Yes. Remember when you were going to write the theme to that? Yeah. Do, 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 do. But then I just I got I lazy. Just Who did it? Oh, it's just a random stock a demo thing. Oh, right. I just, I just, I went through like must have been like fifty or sixty of them just to try and find like the 
the perfect version and mm-hmm. that, that it was kind of mine's mine's a little bit like in between us yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of the, the vibe yes, I was going yeah, for it's a bit upbeat and it's like you know it's not too serious you know yeah so when I switch to different scenes or like at the start yeah pretty like, much yeah. for the I, I'm like the, the will you know the monologue at the start and the yeah. I'm not really. Right. <laughs> I don't know it's what like I'm talking about. Just come on, I Mint. So, part two. Um, I think you said you've only listened to Josh's so far, which is fine because yes. you can listen to the rest on the way home. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've still got half to listen to. <laughs> of Josh's and Brass, like no, so it's, it's just six, six hours, six <laughs> hours <laughs> worth. But it was that boring and then he didn't listen to the full podcast. That's <laughs> all it was. <laughs> um, but what we normally do, obviously, we put it on Instagram and we get a bunch of wood robbers. This week we have changed it slightly. We're going to play like a game, but. I wanted to kind of keep the wood drivers in there as well. Yeah. So I'm going to open with a wood driver first. Yeah. Do, do a wood driver, then we'll do a. Yeah. Well, can't remember what it was because I did it last week. I saw a. I saw Jude's wood driver. I'm a bit worried now. Like, <laughs> oh, did we do a wood driver for Jude? We gave him a shag Mario void. Yeah, maybe that <laughs> was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jude's the only one we've had that for. If anyone wants to produce any more shag Mario voids, email us, tweet us, yep. Facebook us, message us. Send a carrier pigeon. <laughs> we haven't had any since then, to be fair. No, we haven't actually. Clearly wasn't a popular option. <laughs> um, but we got one would you rather, which is would you rather drink a pint of sweat or drink a pint of someone else's saliva? It's someone else's sweat, of course. Someone else's saliva. Mm. Probably uh, probably sweat. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to go saliva, I think. No, I think... No, I'm, I'm. I think sweat's a bit too much. You know what? The, the saliva will have like a lot of pulp in it, and you can catch stuff through saliva. Can yeah. you catch it through sweat as well, or is it just saliva? I imagine I'm sure a pint of it would be wrong. Ah, yeah. <laughs> salty, like yeah. But no, nah, I, I, I agree with Kerry. I think it was I think sweat, sweat because. I because it's it, it, it's a lot lighter and it's just it's it's I, just water when it's saliva has got like it's not just water though is it like you know when when you're on stage and you're like oh I smell a bit right it's a little bit of sweat it's a couple of drops imagine someone else's pint of sweat that's the stench you have to drink with that ah well that's true mm. but I'm just I'm just thinking the texture of spit it's like you have like a like a thruffy head yeah you know just you like, can have some phlegm in it as well yeah that's in it. theory that wouldn't well, be a I, lot of liquid no. in comparison that. Is that one a bit much for you? No, no. The amount of wood robbers you've had and he's gagging at sliver. Uh, I'm just, I'm like, because I, I, I swallowed a little bit there and I was like... <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely... Um, definitely I'm, a sweat I'm, kind I'm, of guy. I'm team sweat. Mm. I'm team sliver. So yeah. Just hold your nose so you don't have to smell it. That's true. And yeah. your taste goes a bit as well. Yeah, it's just from like, experience. Just like drinking seawater. I think you might have coronavirus. <laughs> I think I might have. <laughs> I'm sure if you necked it behind a sweat, that's not going to help you at all. <laughs> I couldn't do the sweat. You don't do the sweat? No. Nah. I feel like a pint of sweat is a lot. I know it's the same mm. measurement, but it feels like a pint of sweat is a lot more than a pint of saliva. Mm. Like if somebody was to spit, you'd get a fair bit in a glass. But if somebody was to drip sweat into it, it would take forever to build that up. And I feel like... As a collective, it feels like sweat would be more than a pint, even though it's not. Yeah, you'd, well, you'd have to kind of like mentality. Just, I'm of, just thinking like the extraction process. You just have to get someone on a well, yeah. like with a cotton shirt and yeah, just like yeah. wing it. It'd take a kind of while, wouldn't it? And you'd be up for that, yeah. It's like, it's like licking their back. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not an ideal choice. But I'm thinking like it'd be like watching someone go on a treadmill and then go, "I'm gonna lick your armpit next." Oh, uh, uh, that's, like, that's true. Yeah. Mm. But you just, I mean, I imagine see. just just watching someone just like look you in the eye, just like spitting in a cup until it turns into. How a many waitresses are you pissed off? That's probably happened before. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm. I'm How an many dirty glasses are you drank from? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going saliva. Saliva. Furs. You sweat. Well, sweat. Sweaty team boy. sweats. Mm. Team sweaty boys. Two sweaty one. boys. <laughs> <laughs> Mint, cool. Well, that's that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, got a new game I came up with this week. Yep. And I was uh, I was in Birmingham. And uh, then I was driving home from Birmingham because that's, you know, how travel works. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when you're on autopilot and your mind's just going. Uh, and I was like going, oh, I'm in the podcast a couple of days. I need, I need to make something new. And uh, I came up with an idea of you guys are going to compete. There's no prize, so don't take it too serious. Oh, it. Um, the winner gets pride. Oh, what's more than pride? Well, yeah, I guess so. That's <laughs> um, basically, there's five songs. You've got to guess what they are. I've got a maximum of three hints. You get a point for the song and a point for the artist. 
Yeah. Um, the first hint is kind of like paraphrasing the lyrics. Second and third hints are like random facts of the song, and it's kind of like supposed to be easy as they go, but some of the hints are not that easy. <laughs> Tell you what, I should have got. I should have. I should have got like a, a buzzer sound bite, shouldn't I? Well, we'll get that for not what? next week, but a week after, because next week isn't for us an hour's time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Are you ready? I think. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh, mince go. Let's go. Cool. Cool. Challenge points. on. All right. James and Keddy. Song number one. Here's hint number one. Remove this so you're not looking at the screen. Nice. Okay. It's isn't biased. James doesn't know any of the answers. Yeah. I only told him about the idea I had the other day. And I've only yeah. told him the rules before on the break. Right. Um, so, hint number one. This is the paraphrase of the song. This guy is regaining his confidence, starts to get a bit paranoid about his woman with another man. Oh, that could be anything. I know, that could be anything. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Um, wait. Can I ask what era is it from? Nope. Oh. So, can, 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 I, can I have... Um, You'll get the hint when the hint comes so, to you. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. hang on, so let's say the hint again. So Okay, the, hint one. The guy regains his confidence, regain. starts to get a bit paranoid when his woman's with another man. So a guy regains his confidence? Yeah. So he's yeah, a bit confident. So he's a bit confident, but he's also paranoid yeah. at the same time. What I might do as well is... Are, I these, are these popular? Am I go, is everybody going to know what I've this song sure is? I've made sure people know the songs. Okay, because... How many um, guesses? Is it unlimited guesses, like, well, until you get right? Or? What I'll do is I'll mark down what your answers were, kind All of right. thing, per think, hint, if you want. I think it has to be, like, one guess per hint, really. Right, yeah, one guess per okay, hint. Okay, okay. We'll see who gets it right in the closest yeah. guesses. Oh, I'll get a second page. How, how, many, how many hints? Do the hints get easier as the... Because that's... Yeah, some of them do. Yeah. <laughs> it really depends on the song. Because usually it's like, you know, the, the hint gets easier as, mm. it, as it goes along, so it's easier to... But, I haven't hmm. I have a clue about that. So a guy who gains his confidence and he's a bit paranoid of his lass. Um, I don't even know what that is. You know what, I'm, I'm just going to go. That's <coughs> my guess. That's, that's the, I haven't got a sound bite, so. Um, I'm going to say. Put that there, sorry. And this is probably completely wrong. No cheating. I'm just, no, I can I'm just gonna say something just for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Brightside. James has gone for Mr. Brightside on hint one. Yeah. All right, I've got one. Go on then. Burp. <laughs> you can guess the same if you like. Um, the man who can't be moved Ooh. by the script. Man Someone. who can't be moved. I mean, I know what that means. All right. Are you as confident in that? Or do you want a second hint? You can change the answer to the final hint. I think that's how it can work. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I change the answer each hint. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, what I was you thinking like with one, it, one really. guess. Yeah, one guess per hint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But you can change but the you answer. You can pick your final yeah. answer at the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Hint two. The first verse is the exact same as the second verse. <laughs> that's like so many songs. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh man. Right. So, okay. So that breaks it down a little bit more. Mm. And Mr. Brightside is also two. Ooh. The, the first verse is also the same as the second verse. Oh, you're closer than me. Um, you don't want to get caught on that mindset. But then of. there's now there's I'm, you know what I'm just I'm racing through the lyrics in my head now, and it doesn't make for good podcast when you. No, all right. Sitting <laughs> with oh, you like about something. Do, 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 do. Um, right. So the other one I've got. Um, eh, go on. Um, Mr. James Berry. So I'm gonna say. I'm gonna to change to Ooh. Wonderwall. Oh, he's gone Wonderwall. Mm. Okay. Oh, the pressure's on now. Oh, we need a countdown. Kenny, hey? mm. You can't have the same either. You can't I mean, have the same. You, you can, can have the same as James. You, you can, can steal. Have, you can steal. Yeah, you can take James' first answer, <laughs> second answer. You can keep yours, but I think we all know Man of Comp Move isn't the same lyrics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go with Wonderwall. Oh. I'll absolutely copy your idea oh, for now. Wonderwall, all right. I might do a new and I'll switch then. Hint three, final <laughs> hint of this one. As the computer went off. Uh, this song has always been in the charts since the day of the release. Never dropped out. Ooh. Jesus. I'm thinking of a Christmas song now. <laughs> yeah, but is there a Christmas song in the charts currently? Christmas songs come back every December, they're mm. not there. Yeah, yeah, this that's song true. has been in the charts every day since it was released. So that's like, um, yeah, so, that's like top 100, isn't it? Yeah. 
right it's, there's no song that's been in the top 40 for right I'm gonna I'm gonna switch do the old Uno switch Rooney I'm gonna switch back to Mr. Brightside just because I think Wonderwall B. like I mean that's been out since the flipping early 90s hasn't it mm-hmm. I'm sure Brightside is similar well, Brightside like Brightside's like massive as well bro. Bright, so, I mean so is Wonderwall oh, actually, I'll tell you what yeah, yeah. Brightside wasn't even in the charts when it first came out oh no I'm gonna stick with Mr. Brightside cool what are you thinking uh, <laughs> all right, I'll go with Wonderwall. Oh, Wonderwall. Oh, oh, okay. So it's got to be one of the point of the artist because I think we all know the artists anyway. Oh yes, yeah. the songs. How do we do it? Should we give the answer now or to the end of the? I'll end do of it now because I'm going to yeah, be. Yeah. I'm really thinking about it. Mint point one does go to someone. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh tension. It goes to our co-host, Mr. James Berry. Yay. It is oh, Mr. Brightside. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. It was a fairly easiest one to begin with, to be fair. Um, but yeah, Mr. Brightside. Oh, it's like, it's always been, it's like, it hits like 98, 99, 98, 97. Like it's, yeah. it's always been in the charts since its release. That's mad that, like, I mean, how, that's like, I think it's the only song that's been in the charts since its release. It came out in like 2000, so you something, didn't it? Yeah. It's when I was born. And so yeah, it's never, <laughs> yeah. it's always wow. been in the charts for yeah. your entire life. Have any of you tried to play it? Yeah, every single game. It's gig. solid to play, I think. Yeah, it's, it's do, 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 do. Like the finger it's, in it. It's the, yeah. it's the wrist. It's I don't really play correctly, notes. but I play it. Yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I think it picked different chords and up for the best. Yeah, I play it every, I mean, I'm in a wedding band, so I play it every single time I play a gig. Yeah. But it's, it, it's second nature now, but well, I remember learning it. Was, mm-hmm. I don't know how he, I'm trying to think how he wrote that, because it's such a, it's not like a, a usual chord structure or anything, yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah. It's like, it's a bit of a, a bit of a strange one. But uh, it's, uh, yeah. so do you do lead guitar and rhythm or? Yeah, I just I'm just the electric guitar player. Oh. so I just play whatever. Fair <laughs> enough. If I'm needed. <laughs> you guys ready for song two? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, it's getting thrown back today, and the heart is no longer no, sorry, and the heart no longer has the fire. Ooh. It's getting. This thrown. could be some lyric. Okay, I could be. So Need it's getting some... thrown back today, and the heart no longer has its fire. Has the fire. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop this. Actually, I'm not. No. Um, I'm gonna say, um, just for the fire reference, "Ring of Fire" by Ring Johnny Cash. Of fire. Good guess. Uh, I'll tell you something about that song, right? Oh, so um, I was doing singing lessons in college. Well, it yeah. was like with the sage, like linked, and um, my friend Luke. Luke Leonard up for Luke he started singing um, Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash and it was just so funny because like he put on a deep American voice and like my singing teacher Hannah was like not impressed at all <laughs> I was just there laughing my head off yeah. the whole I, I sort of felt bad because like he was trying to sing it but like he was sort of taking the mic at the yeah. same time but you can't you can't not sing Johnny Cash without low yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. it doesn't sound like anything but it was like one of the funniest things <laughs> in, in my life yeah. <laughs> I love that song Hmm. I'm trying to think what to go with. Throw away hard. Maybe a fire love by Ed Sheeran. Ooh. Is it fire love? A fire love. A fire love. A fire love. Yeah. A fire. That's uh, Sean Meyer. I don't know what that one is. Uh, hint number two. It has the same chords as a Green Day song. Not that that helps. A lot of songs have the same chords. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I know what this one is. Actually, I'm thinking Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Right. What's that like? E minor G, D and D, A. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like Wonderwall, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was gonna say Wonderwall. Wonderwall. <sighs> Come back to the old Wonderwall. You can also you can also say Wonderwall to be fair, like. I'm getting deja vu here. Like. Yeah, no, I was thinking. <laughs> Same Mr. Brightside. Mr. Brightside. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then. Yeah, I'll go with Wonderwall again. Wonderwall yeah. again. Oh, it's going to keep guessing that until he gets it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's keep saying Wonderwall. It has to be Wonderwall. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get it eventually. Uh, you know? Yeah, hit three. All musicians hate this song. Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Point to both of you. Yes. Oh, it was when you guessed Wonderwall the first one. I was like, oh, this is going to make the next one easier. <laughs> 
All right then, song number three. Gina, Gina and Tommy are top rafters, but there's a strike within the union. Oh. <coughs> yes, I already know what's actually. You, you can go first. You can go first. Living on a prayer. <laughs> yeah, Bunch that's the one. Yeah, there we go. We don't need any more clues of that. All right, yeah, fine. Yeah, Living on a prayer. You're both correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my other hints were right, to be fair. It was like, hint two was the B-side. In fact, let's see if you know, what was the B-side titled to that single? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I was... Sorry, I think the lyric things are too easy, but... Yeah. These would have been good hints. That would have been... Do you, know, do you know what the B-side was? No idea. B-side was called Wild in the Streets. Never, mm. never heard of that one before. Do you know what the album was called it was on? I'm not a, I'm not a big Bon Jovi fan, to be honest. No, it was Slippery When Wet. Oh yes, slippery. No, oh, yeah, no, 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 heard, heard of it. I heard of it when you said that three when, seconds ago. Yeah, it's, a, it's a popular <laughs> album. That one is. All right, you're both. Well, you're on three points. You're on two. Song number three. Uh, hint one. Uh, she isn't that, isn't that song number three? Sorry, song number four. I was going to say. It was. I'll keep you right. It's not right. Thank you. Uh, she wants everything: ugly, diseases, etc. But only if it's free. Ooh. Oh God. Um. Mm. Song four, I'll make a note of that one. <laughs> so, you want, she wants everything, including everything. diseases. Yeah. What kind of song is this? Everything, yeah. ugly diseases, free. She wants ugly, hmm. ugly diseases. Well, let's put a comma in between them two words. <laughs> <laughs> like a shopping list. <laughs> I was gonna say, like AIDS is not a pretty disease, is it? No, no. <laughs> well, I don't think a lot of diseases are pretty, actually. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't say she, I would have said um, I Want It All by Freddie Mercury, especially since you mentioned the AIDS thing. Well, but, no, no sure. one knows what his pronouns are now. Well, that's true, man. Huh? It could be anything. Um, hmm. Oh, God, well, I don't know. Actually, I, I, if you want Wait, to... I'm thinking When the Sun Goes Down by Ark Monkeys. You're okay. Is that your answer? Well, well not the answer, but that's your first hint guess. Uh, first hint guess. First hint guess. First hint guess. Where the sun goes down. To be fair, it's a they, great show. Uh, they were the first um, MySpace band. Yeah. So they got they got famous. Um, so when I was in college back in my you day, Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, oh, because no. I think that's the first time I've mentioned back in my day. Show me age. <laughs> <laughs> Get to that that time in my life. Now. Episode eight, we got there. Uh, <laughs> I always used to they played at the Manakee in Sunderland. Tickets were four pound fifty. Yeah. Whoa! Did you <laughs> oh, see wow. them? No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> go. We're my, fr- my, <laughs> my friends did like, but uh, I was like, nah. It's, uh, it was like, oh, it's going to be like, like you know, when the Rolling Stones first was like, nah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> but obviously they were right, weren't they? Because, like, yeah, the headline yeah. glass would be 10 years later or something. Come on, quit stalling. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. So, what, it wants it all, ugly diseases. Um, I don't know. Can I, can I pass? Yeah, we can pass I'll, on this one. I'll pass on that one. All right, then. Hint two. Uh, when this song became a UK number one, they became the first female artist to have three chart toppers in the same calendar year. So it's a less hints and so more it's not Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I was say that again. So, you've got um, the first female to have three chart toppers. In the same calendar year. In the same calendar year. Um, when this, I think this was the third one because it's when this song became the number one. She became the first one to have three in the same year. Right. I think a popular I'm, female artist now. I'm thinking, well, I don't know what song, but I'm going to say... Let's go your half a point if you just can't get the song where you can get the artist. I'm going to say Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. I'm thinking. Wait, when was she popular? Uh, doesn't it matter, does ba- it? Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day. Um, <laughs> hmm. No, I'm going to copy you again because I don't Ooh. actually have an yeah. answer so no, I'm going to go with Amy fine. Winehouse Amy W Hint so we're three. almost working as a team here it's not uh, like a it's not even a competition yeah, right now Wonder Wall Wonder Wall yeah. <laughs> final hint the title of the song is sung 28 times in the song itself Ooh. Um, I'm going to say Valerie <laughs> okay <laughs> by Amy Winehouse so I've got Valerie, I've got Amy Winehouse in my head now. That was the issue with Brightside, wasn't it? Yeah. It could be that, but... Yeah. Hmm. Right, is it called Back to Black or Back in Black? Back by to Black. Back, to, back to Black by Amy. Yeah. Well, didn't she cover it, actually? She covered she? Valerie. That Valerie was originally oh, by Zoot the Zoot Dons. Yeah, Zoot Dons. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I'm going to say back to black. You were definitely stuck on the Amy Winehouse, are you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, no points to either. Ah, oh, oh, I knew you good. The song was Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. <sighs> I was, want I was your love thinking, in, I want your disease. Oh, I want your everything as long as it's free. I want, I want your, your love. Love, love, love. love. <laughs> I knew uh, in, uh, uh, Lady Gaga was the other one, but I was thinking, like, you, it, it, it threw us a little bit when he said first female. I was thinking, well, Amy Winehouse was before Lady Gaga. Yeah, look, she might have got chart towers, but first so, female to get three in a calendar year. Uh, oh, wait then. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, oh well, that, was, that was fun. Do you have any more? Got the final one. Final one. Ooh, tiebreaker. I say that you're on three, well, Kenny's on two. But still, you know, it's a could be a draw. It's a last could year. Be. It could, could be. be. So hint one. All packed up before the flight. Nine o'clock in the morning. All packed. Um, so I'm not very good with like anagrams. So I'm not very good with lyrics. Anything that comes to mind straight away. All packed up. Ready to go. I'd be interested o'clock. if we've got any listeners that are screaming at the podcast going, Come away, it's this song. I know they're going, <laughs> you call yourself yeah, music yeah. fans, you don't <laughs> even know the hints of these, these songs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm, I'm a horrendous musician, me. I know <laughs> absolutely nothing about music. I don't need, you just need to know how to play a guitar. It's fine. Just four <laughs> chords, mate. Yeah, e yeah, minor, G, uh, D. Uh, bit of C. Man. Just G, C, D, and you're an Irish pub bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put the cap up different places, you're fine. You just shout in key, it's fine. It's all happening. <laughs> All packed up, ready to go. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Um, oh, was that a little hint there? Like, a little melody? Yeah. 9 a.m. Yeah, if you wanted a bass, but it wasn't. Oh, oh. <laughs> but if you want to really look, dive deep into it, what 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 came to your mind there? Nothing really. Uh, <laughs> All packed up and ready. Shit melody, though, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass for this one again. Bears is passing. 9 a.m. Oh. Got any ideas, Tom? Phone a friend. <laughs> we um, have uh, Kelly's girlfriend off camera. I would, I would we did invite her to the podcast, but she just makes sure the camera stays on screen. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I'll have to pass You're as passing. well. Yeah. Okay, hint two. The artist's real name is Reginald Dwight. Right, okay, so that is definitely Elton John. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I'm sure it is. I think I'll just follow in your footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I'm sure it is. We ever heard that before. Reginald Dwight. I'm sure that's... I think Bez is on the right line, though. That's a popular artist's name. Just trying to get the artist. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's not Lady Gaga, if that's any help. What's the name? Reginald... Dwight. Reginald Dwight. Reginald Dwight, yeah. I'm sure... I'm sure that is Elton John. Almost positive that's Elton John. <laughs> Why aren't you 100% positive? Who else do you think it is? Uh, well, I don't know. I just that that name plus Elton John just rings a bell. Reginald Dwight, and it's he, he looks like a Reginald. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, his middle name Hercules, you know. <laughs> I'm Reginald. gonna I'm gonna say Tiny Dancer. Yeah, I was I was thinking Tiny Dancer. Like. Tiny Dancer. Um, For both of you. Got one more hint after this, to be fair. Yeah, I'm going to put a tiny dancer, but obviously I'm going to leave it open to the, the oh, next yeah, hint. three. Yeah. So hint three, this is the final one as well. Yeah. Uh, and I apologise because I feel like James is going to get this straight away now because this hint is kind of up your street. Right, okay then. Uh, this song was covered by both William Shatner and Stewie Griffin. Oh. Changed my mind. His face is a lot more blank than I thought it was going to be. I thought he'd uh, like, I'm going to know what that one is. Yeah, I should know this. I fall asleep to Family Guy quite a yeah. lot. Oh, I know which one it is. Oh, he's got yeah. it. <laughs> oh. Come on, think. Because yeah, I think he's yeah. confident in this, I'm going to have to get you to guess the answer first. Yeah, oh. you're going to have to guess the answer first. <sighs> I need more hints, man. I can't help you there. Oh, I'll, I'll let James press yeah, the buzzer. Nope. Oh, no, okay. No, I'm not actually. Um, no, well, if you... Mate, we'll be sitting I, I, here I can, all night, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so you're ahead anyway. Uh, Rocket Man. Rocket Man. <sighs> I'd like to guess there, Kenny. I could have guessed that as yeah, well. Yeah, you could have. Why didn't you? <laughs> it, just, it just wasn't there, you know. Have you ever heard the William Catch Shatner version? Bag, no. It is flight. so good. Yeah. It just, it, it's just, he it basically, he's, he's, he's like spoken word. Yeah, yeah. So he goes, and I think it's going to be a long, long time. Do it the Stewie Griffin voice. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie does the William Shatner version. Go ahead. 
Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm not going to buy it. No, no, no. I'm not, I can't put that. No, I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even going to try that. It'd be a long, long time. <laughs> Look yes, at me. that was the answer. <laughs> I've always packed my bag last night, pre-flight, zero hours, nine a.m. Ah, uh, yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, that makes more sense then. Congratulations, James, you won. Yeah, I think well that done. ends part two. Yeah, I think that does. Yeah. I need to go grab another drink. Yeah, cool. Cool. Right, we'll, uh, we'll do part three. We'll discuss the original tune, and right. then we'll set you up to play uh, guitar. Yep. Sounds good. All right, Clint. let's get it. Welcome back to the final part. Yes. 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 Welcome back to the final part. Yes. <laughs> this is where we talk about Keddy and his new releases, his older Allied, songs. Yeah. And we're meant to do that. However, we got a couple more questions beforehand. Oh. I only just realised when I uh, opened part three what I had written down from ah. last week. Um, I mean, you might guess who asked this question on Instagram, but the question is, what's your favourite Josh Hennigan song? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. <God. laughs> He was what? <laughs> um, I think it was India, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, who's Josh Hannigan? I don't know. I've no, never heard him before. No. What is um, I like Five Colours. Five Colours is good. It's a, like Dancing song, with My it? Skeletons. It's all right. Actually, I'll go with Dancing with My Skeletons. It's one of his Jeez. best. Oh. We're not ignoring you. You can try this if you want. It's a chocolate stout. All right. What's a stout? It's like a Guinness. It's like a... It's like a heavy, heavy beer. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's like when you're 18, it's probably a bit too old for you. Uh, I was going <laughs> to yeah. say, I've never heard of stouts. Like, oh, oh, it's, you'll get there. You'll get there. It's a heavy, uh, it's a heavy... Um, it's something you'll start drinking when you get gigging a lot. Mm-hmm. So if you start on the lagers, you'll end burping a lot for the microphone and you get something that's less fizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think a stout's probably the right one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Anything heavier than that, you are going to be falling off that stage. <laughs> it's quite smooth as well. So it's, it's 6% it's that. Quite nice for the top. So would you say it's like a gigging musician's sort of drink to go yep. to? Uh, pretty much. To sort of deal with. I know are yeah. Guinness. Because it's expensive and nine times out of ten, the barmaid's like, go on. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yes, please. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, also, the next question we have is, who is your biggest fan? Um, Tamsin's up there. <laughs> That's the only answer, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but I was going to say, my mum. she's not in the room. <laughs> All right, my mum. <laughs> uh, no, but honestly, like, a lot of my family, you know, my mum, my dad, Tamsin. Um, Josh is actually very supportive as well. Um, his girlfriend, Charlie's, um, and a couple of my mates. That's cool. It's important to have those kind of people around yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Kind of encourages you and... I, I like Josh as well. I mean, he's all right. Uh, he's he did a gigs for me the other week. Did he? He did a gig for his a week before Saturday, and it was so good for him that they asked us to book him again for the following Saturday. Is <laughs> it so the Millhouse? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He did a couple of gigs for us there. Um, uh, yeah. Millhouse. I like the Millhouse. We did it. Did you gig with uh, me and Scott when he did the just after lockdown? Uh, it was the, f- the only place that was actually putting on gigs because it was Monday, it was Sunday, outside. Uh, it was great. That was good. Uh, nice to get back into it and stuff like that. God, that's, see, that feels like a flipping lifetime away of that. I know. It was like a year ago. <laughs> two years ago. 2020, wasn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it would have been 2020. About two years ago today as well, because it's July, it's when things are starting to open up. Oh, aye. Right. Ish. Ish. I, I wrote a song in 20, like 2020 called This Will All Be Over Soon. <laughs> And then the following year, you're like, I need to write a sequel going, sorry about that, I got my picture wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is still going on, it's, a, this, it's like the sequel to the song. I can't wait for 2025, the next one comes out going, it's back again. It's coming soon. <laughs> the return. <laughs> oh, no, part three is meant to be about yourself, not lockdown. Yeah. So we got carried away there. Um, do you have any new music, any shows coming out, anything you want to tell our beautiful audience? Yes, um, I've got Scoop Music Festival coming up. Oh, we do. Are you playing the acoustic stage? Yeah, I think I saw your name on the thing. Yes, I haven't looked at the poster properly yet, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm so vain, I just checked that my name was spelled right, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe that's <laughs> what I do as well. I haven't checked anything else. <laughs> um, when are you playing 30th? Yes. Uh, Saturday. Saturday. I, I'm this up. Saturday, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I'm opening Apologies on... Apologies to everyone who wants to go to that show. That was Saturday gone. <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry, guys. I'll take... Oh, um, oh, yeah, well, I will be glad. I <laughs> forget what, like, time travel is here, aren't we? We've uh, recorded on the 25th of July. This podcast is out on, like, the 2nd of August or something. No, never mind. 
but it would have been a great show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shame just, we missed it. Let's pretend that we've done yeah. it, and then that not have playing it. Um, 11, I'm opening main stage. I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you mean you opened the main stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. see what we're doing Sorry, here. Guys, see what we're doing here. Um, <laughs> but it's my first ever sort of like festival thing, like big oh, festival, so I'm pretty lush. excited. I love it. The last I booked me in this was my management for This Is Tomorrow. Is she called Lucy Grant? Yeah. I've met her, she's kind of Big though. shout out, she was lush. Mm. So it's some very nice photos. Acoustic stage lineup. I don't think I've got a time yet, but my name's. Oh, Jack Milcrease is there. Oh, nice, sir. Oh. oh, well. Big shout out to everyone who was there last weekend. We've got Stephen Wilson, Ellen Hurst, Jack Wilkes, Two's Company, Jamie Farrell, David Stoger, Sarah Connolly, Connor Michael. You were all fantastic. You yeah. were great. Absolutely smart. Definitely yeah. was not a foot wrong, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, well, I hope, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. Yeah. I'll see you on the stage I'm, a, stage. I'm using the electric, partly because my acoustics, like, messed up um, because it's like bigger as well so I'm gonna uh, create more of a bigger sound you know something cool about like just gigging with just like without a band or anything just, yeah, yeah. just the electric yeah I think it, it sounds it's about your same saying you got your, your, your pod go you can yeah, yeah. trying to find your name on a poster I think we're on different stages yeah we are right yeah um, but I've also got the cynical mind which is the <laughs> cynical mind great because even the when cynical. you said it there I heard the cynical yeah 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 <laughs> it's how I say the um, I say the like the, the like sorry. my singing teacher was saying you need to try to pronounce it more like the, the. like the like the word instead of the you know the, what I mean yeah the, the word I the, the. Um, but that's out on the 4th of August so um, if you like rock indie then feel free to stream it is that the song you're playing for us tonight? Yes. So if you really oh. like it, go stream it. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear uh, an advanced version, you? like a live acoustic yeah. version before it's released. That's uh, the magic of this podcast. Yeah, that's how we do it. Yeah, absolutely. Mint, uh, don't just buy his single, buy mine on the 19th of August. <laughs> I still need to buy that. Yes, I need to buy loads of them. James bought 10 CDs before the price went up. Yeah, I've oh, got the, you know, I can probably sell them the actually. Yeah, I know, right? Sell them <laughs> now at retail. Price. Wasn't it like 2 99 It was 2 49 And then after I sold about 40 copies, they went, oh, we actually need to pay for VAT and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to go to 2 99 And I was like, oh, right, sound. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the prices went up. But we recorded an advert upon the podcast. Yeah. And the day after, I was like, oh, the price went up. James, we need to record another po- <laughs> advert upon the podcast. Um, yeah, it won't be out by the time this podcast out, but please go pre-save it because the more pre-sales I get, the more chance I have of getting an official UK number one challenge in the physical charts. That's why I'm selling CDs. Yeah. If you can buy 20, buy 20, but I know that's like 60 quid, so don't. But buy two. Yeah. Can buy two. <laughs> if you want, buy two. Yeah. Um, yeah, and hopefully we get that. UK number one. Be awesome. A trophy to sit there. Yeah. I'm in. Did you see uh, Johnny Boyle? He did pretty well, like. Yeah, really well. Like, did he get fourth, fourth or something? Right? Singer songwriter shots. And it's pretty good. Honestly, if everyone, in, this is what I kind of like, hope to kind of achieve by like, I mean, you want to which, build which we'll a think local of, reputation. A local up. network. Yeah. And mm-hmm. just, just imagine kind of every time someone has a song out and they've been, they've been on the show and we kind of tell everyone, let's, yeah. everyone like supports each other, everyone buys the CDs, tells their friends about it. Every time there's a northeast artist that brings something out, it always gets in the charts. People are going to pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone went mental for Sam Fender because he became big. Yeah. But to get big, you have to have that local support route exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sam Fender got lucky in the sense of he got found at the right place, right time. Yeah. A lot of people don't get found at the right place, right time. But if they were, they have the potential to be as successful. So we're trying him, to build that. Andrew Cushion as well. No, I haven't. He's like, um, he's a local lad. He does like mainly acoustic stuff, but he plays with a band and he got found at like his local pub. All right. Um, and Noel Gallagher helped him produce one of yeah. his songs, which is pretty much like, cool. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's it's right place, right time. But as you yeah. say, if we can build the network and everybody helps each other to build up, it's the we'll idea, turn isn't it? the North East into a bigger music scene than London. Yeah. That's, that's the aim. I was yeah. going to say, because for North East, music yeah. scene's been pretty sort of... Hasn't been as big, has it? But it's, it's, been, it's grown. The ones there's lo- that yeah. come out of it are massive. Mm, Sam Fender, Sting, they get there. But yeah. there's, there's, there's loads of really good artists, but I feel it's quite scattered. And not, yeah. there's, there's there's a few people know each other. And like, yeah. honestly, my my mind's open, my eyes have up, opened up. Uh, just interviewing, just talking to people, mm-hmm. people like yourself, who I would never even know um, or have heard of. Or if you, 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 the only way I'd probably heard of you is um, if you like emailed. 
just DM'd us, go, I've got a new single out now, yeah, give yeah. it a listen, but that's all I'd do. Like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Email off that's, the stage UK at gmail.com. Yeah. But that's, that's, um, that's all I would have done. It's like, but doing this kind of thing, it separates like the person from the profile picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of an idea. So, so I know you now, so next time you release something, I'm going to make make an effort yeah, to yeah, kind yeah. of like listen to it, you know? Yeah. yeah man. I'll do the same. All right, well, that's, that's the idea. Right. Just, so if know. people were to find you, what's your socials? What's your handles? What do you do? Right, so it's pretty much my name on every social is uh, Keddy Sowells. So that's Teddy, but with a K. Um, so my TikTok is Keddy Sowells Music. My Instagram is Keddy Sowells. We can see where this is going, Carl. Yes, uh, Facebook, Keddy Sowells Music. Um, Snapchat is something like Kedster14. <laughs> I made it when I was 14. Yeah. And you can't <laughs> change it. That. Um, <laughs> YouTube is Keddy Sowells Music. Um, but I, it's not too hard to find us because there's not a lot of people called Keddy. Yeah, so I was going to say it's just such a meant unique Will name you put like, fonts up on the screen as well for the viewers to be like, ah, oh, right, that's how it's spelt? Can you? Yeah, do well, that? I. Um, well, it'll, 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 it'll have the name on the bottom anyway, oh, yeah. but... If you haven't noticed already, in the descriptions of our YouTube videos, we do actually put all the uh, social handles of our guests and ourselves, etc. So do find that. Also, like and subscribe if you're watching YouTube. If you're not and you're on Spotify, but not Apple, because I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> <laughs> that rant's going to go on forever, you know. Yeah. Episode 10, I'm going to get us an Apple. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, whose episode was it? Jack's. Jacks, was I think it was Jacks. Jacks. Uh, Josh, Josh's, Josh's episode. Yeah, I don't know if you're up to that bit yet. I have a big rant about Apple. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for that part. <laughs> yeah, we also discuss a little bit on India's, which is out for us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow for you guys last week. Um, but yeah, message us if there's anyone you want to see on the podcast. If there's any questions, if you got all five songs correct, let us know so I can go ha <laughs> to this one who claims to be a musician. <laughs> um, our Facebook and Instagram is Off The Stage UK. Our Twitter is Off The Stage 2 because we're not as good as the first one. Yep. Our YouTube is Off The Stage UK. Our Spotify is Off The Stage UK. My Pokemon Go is CMW267. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to let you play your song and... We'll call that a pod. Yeah. Call that a pod. We'll see you. See you on the stage. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Um, There we go. And I think we do finish like this. Ta-da. Set in the sun to skate to no, know who doesn't understand Doesn't want you, doesn't need to, doesn't even care about you Doesn't want to go through it hand in hand There's a room where people got problems of this From the prejudice with this to the lack of social care Your mind in a row stuck back then And can't come to terms, can't even begin Now we're walking the line and he's walking it too He knows where to go, not what to do Talking to strangers with familiar faces His cheeks turning red, yet he feels so blue Deep down in the heart, the feeling's true But it keeps beating fast, is it me or you? Sweat dripping down, wiping the brow Keeps pacing on and looking on through Up the past and you're all last Watching you there with no little care He's picking up the people he's left behind Too old to live, too young to die With my worn out hands and my rolled up sleeves I'm gonna work every night till I'm on my knees It's all I know, it's not for sure And anything he says, it always has to go Now we're walking the line and he's walking it too He knows where to go, know what to do Talking to strangers with familiar faces His cheeks turning red, yet he feels so blue Deep down in the heart, the feeling's true But it keeps beating fast, is it me or you? Sweat dripping down, wiping the brow Keeps pacing on and looking on through
Thank you.